It's snowing and the sun is setting at 3.30. So you know what that means, winter's here. It's time to get some presents. If you don't know what to get, we're gonna give you the best suggestions that we have from our actual use, our personal recommendations. And the first up is a lens with some bokeh, a big prime lens. Get what they call the Nifty 50, a 50 millimeter F1.8, or you can step up to an amazing 85 millimeter F1.4 or even 85 millimeter F1.2 like I'm filming this with. Check the links in the description for lenses specific to your camera system. This is my garage and it's filled with pallets and pallet jacks and boxes. Here's why we actually run a small publishing company. We write our own books, we get them printed at another small business and then we sell them directly to you. We're having a huge Black Friday, Cyber Monday sale right now. Buy one book, you can use the coupon code BF2019 to get 35% off. And if you buy the new edition of Stunning Digital Photography, it comes with 20 hours of video and we will sign it if you get it right away. If they just come in here, we put them in the garage and then we sign them and ship them out. It's not some big mass produced thing. If you buy a bundle, you can get an additional up to 50% off in addition to the 35% coupon. So hurry because that sale is ending right away. So thank you for your support and for supporting small businesses in general. It's the Godox V860 flash. It's a great first flash or it's a great professional flash and it's really, easy to make it a wireless flash. It's available for any type of camera. If you're buying this as a gift for somebody else, make sure you just get the version that's made for their brand of camera, Sony, Fuji, Canon, Nikon, etc. And also be sure to buy the kit that comes with the wireless trigger because being able to move your flash off camera is extremely flexible. I really like this one because it's got this amazing, huge, big battery pack, which I like much better than uh, shuffling around double A's. A drone is a fantastic gift for photographers and videographers. I have the Mavic Mini here. This is not my favorite drone. This is a good second drone. If you only have $400 and you promise to be very careful with it, okay, get the Mavic Mini, but put in days learning to really fly it before you do because it doesn't have any of the safety measures that the bigger drones like this Mavic to Zoom has. Yes, I recommend the Mavic 2 Zoom over the Mavic Pro. Even though, yes, the Pro has like a Hasselblad lens and all that nonsense, the Zoom is much more versatile. And if you create panoramas, it's actually capable of producing higher resolution images. So this is the one that I personally carry in my bag when I'm serious. I will carry the Mavic Mini in my bag if I don't wanna deal with the extra size and weight of this and I'm not gonna be like fighting any heavy wind that the Mavic Mini cannot handle. This is my favorite camera to use. If I'm having fun shooting, this is the Fujifilm X-T3 and it is gorgeous and a delight. And look at the leather case that I keep on it. Most cameras have some type of pretty case that you can attach to it, which just makes them a little prettier, a little more fashionable. And you know what? If something looks like an attractive accessory, maybe you'll be more likely to bring it out the next time you go out to dinner. And that might be the difference between getting a shot with your cell phone and a shot with the real camera. If you have an unlimited budget, the camera I recommend to everybody is the amazing Sony a7R4. And we also have not published our full review on that, but the Sony a7R4 is remarkable. It's well-rounded and I made a video discussing the things I didn't like about it, but overall I think it's the best single camera ever made. This is the Cecilia backpack. They have nice leather ones, but me, I actually prefer the cloth because the cloth is a little bit lighter. For like a year, I use the Peak Design Everyday bag. This is much, much better. The Cecilia bag has just worked well. It's traveled to several countries with me already. This one has a nice kind of open space at the top, which is useful. You shove all the stuff from your pockets in here, like your cell phone when you have to go through security. I like having that open space. The main compartment is nice and secure because it's against your back, which means as you're hiking through a city, Nobody could possibly get into it. That's an advantage it has over the Peak Design Bag. This is more easily configurable than I found on the Peak Design Bag. I can rearrange these for just about anything. It's big enough to carry like a big 70 to 200 or a drone in there. And if I have something longer, this entire top compartment also comes out. So I could go completely top to bottom with just camera gear in here. It has little pockets in here for things like SD cards. And on the back here, you can see 
there's a big opening here for me to put my MacBook Pro. My 15 inch fits in there, a 16 inch would fit in there too. And then you have several zipper pockets in here for things like SD cards. Years ago, Epson sent us this printer. It's a P600. We have printed thousands and thousands of prints with it. It's really nice to have a printer at your house. Somebody sees a picture on your website and they say, oh, I love that picture. Print it out for them, give it to them. Years later, you'll still see it on their wall and that means a lot. And the more you use your photography, the more your photography is gonna mean to you and the better you're gonna get as a photographer. Get some kind of printer, the bigger the better. I almost forgot, big monitors mean so much to a serious photographer's workflow. I have the Lightroom grid on one, I have a close-up on the other, and it just lets me work so much more easily. Maybe you don't need three monitors, but two monitors means a lot, and 4K monitors can be gotten pretty cheap now, and they really help out. One more office thing. I've had this chair for 15 years now. I got it used from a company that had gone bankrupt from the tech boom. It's a Herman Miller Aeron chair. And they were famous in the 2000s as being like the most expensive fancy chair you could get. And they're still expensive. But you know what? Having a chair that you can use for 15 years that doesn't ruin your back, that's a good investment. This is our art and science of photography video training series. It has over 10 hours of video built into it. You can just watch the videos online or you can get this version which has a 64 gigabyte reusable card on it. This goes deeper than we could possibly go on YouTube because on YouTube people like things to be short and snappy. Another video training series we have in here is our professional portrait training series. This will make you money by teaching you how to build a portrait photography business. And again, if you're not happy with it, just let us know and we'll give you your money back. Both of those are available as part of our everything bundle, which is 50% off plus the 35% off BF 2019 coupon plus the autographed prints. This is not at all photography related. It is the Oculus Quest VR system and it is completely wireless. You don't need a computer to hook it up to and I found it to be absolutely super, super fun. It will blow everybody's mind in your family. This is the Godox AD600BM and it's my favorite strobe. It's completely wireless, so you can charge it with a battery and then use it in the studio or just throw it in your car and take it to a park to get some portraits. You can get more expensive versions of this, like the pro versions, but the base BM model is the one that we use. I don't need TTL in my studio lights. You can buy two types of triggers for it. The standard has a smaller display. It's a little more clumsy to use, but it's smaller and it fits in the bag easier. The pro version is nicer, has better controls, but takes up more space on top of the camera. This is mural digital wall art. It has some sort of special texture to it that makes it look like it's a real print. You can cycle through a lot of different art pieces or put your own pictures on there. This is one of my favorite lighting gadgets of all time. Nobody needs it, but it's super fun. It's a focusable projector. So I can project a variety of different patterns and then focus them on the subject. You can change the color of the light so it looks like a sunset. You can change the pattern just by replacing this metal piece here. For example, let's try the starburst. How cool is that as a backdrop? A few final gift suggestions, SD cards make fantastic stocking stuffers. <laughs> Dramatic effect. Put an extra in your car, your wallet, your purse, so you never run out. You've probably seen the Series 5 Apple Watch on my wrist. I know the weather at a glance, I know sunrise and sunset times, and that has helped me with my photography. It also means I can check notifications like incoming text messages to determine whether I actually need to pull out my phone and type a response or if I can just dismiss it. So it means I spend less time on my phone by having an extra gadget strapped to me. And this one has cellular, so if my phone dies, it's a good backup. And I have a really decadent <laughs> present here. This is a Gitzo carbon fiber travel tripod. Never owned an expensive tripod like this before, but this one has been absolutely amazing. It just feels so good. And sometimes part of the experience of photography is tactile. It's whether you actually enjoy what you're doing. And I enjoy using this Gitzo. Every part of it just feels so good, but it's also very functional. And I really like this Sony specific quick release plate, which stops it from rotating a little bit. It doesn't twist like other tripods do. Anyway, it's overkill for this price, but ugh, if you have it in the budget and you enjoy how things feel, 
The Gitzos are really, really satisfying. In the comments below, write what you hope to get in your stocking and don't forget to head to northrop.photo and use that 35% off coupon before it expires very, very soon. Thanks so much and happy holidays.